Tonight we're going to take a look at three different situations on this show. The first segment we'll talk about the way we're talking about fashion challenge for women with my special guest co host Second, we'll talk with Reverend Carmen Hernandez. We'll talk about what she has done for their community as we're giving back to every bit of community. And we'll also take a look at the newest member of Baseball's Hall of Fame. And it's a New York Mets. We'll have it all this edition. From the Janice Convention Center here in the heart of Manhattan, I'm Ron Martin, and this is Road Trip. Jay Ron, you know me from the game show Block Party. And as the host of Sports Fan. Are you making? Are you ready to make it up for the seven? And as the host, I do pop culture, entertainment, food, and tailgating. And tonight we're gonna do it again because this is my road trip.
YouTube channel, Double Nothing, it's great. And by the way, if you want her show to watch, he's on, on Eagles Radio, every weekday morning, 5 to 25 in the morning. When we come back, I'll have a chance to talk with Reverend Carmen Hernandez on her work for the gay, lesbian, and transsexual as they deliver food for the holidays for homeless people. That's coming up after the break. But first, here are the nominees for this year's NFL Honors. Hey, Ron here. It is now time for our Friday feature. It's our NFL fix for this weekend's game. We have a list of the games and highlighted in yellow that I picked. And did you know that playing football or any sport 60 minutes a day could fight childhood obesity? For more information, go to www.nfl.com slash play60. And please, don't forget to join me every Tuesday night for the NFL Fix Show. 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific, online at blogtalkradio.com slash sportsfan or on www.talkshow.com and search 94908. Don't go away. More roasts are coming your way on the other side of the break. When you play hockey, you play more than just a game. Hockey gets your legs moving and your heart pumping, builds lean muscle and it keeps you fit. Plus, it's fun to play no matter who you are or where you are. So let's move, let's skate, shoot and score, let's build confidence, let's eat better so we have the energy we need to play. Let's create friendships and become part of the team. Just go to letsmove.gov to learn more. Because of camp, I learned to make lasting friendships with people I still keep in touch with today. Because of camp, I learned about self-esteem. Because of camp, I play guitar. Because of camp, I am sending my kids to camp this summer. I learned that I was the best Tarzan yeller in the camp. <laughs> because of camp, I got a personality. Now I'm... <laughs> because of camp, I turned out just fine. Reverend Carmen Hernandez is the founder and president of the New York City LGBTQTS Chamber of Commerce, an organization that features organizations for gay, lesbian, and transsexuals. 
She's a champion of those communities, and she is one of the best friends I've ever worked with. Not too long ago, I had a chance to join them in a video outside of the New York Community Church of New York City. It's when we donated turkeys and food to homeless gay lesbians and transsexuals. Earlier, I had a chance to sit outside and talk with Reverend Hernandez on these issues and what the future they can actually change their lives to help these kind of information to help gay, lesbians, and transsexuals. Carmen, we have been talking about a lot of things about the gay, lesbian communities and everything else. This one is a little different than we had before in this holiday season. Tell us what it means. Um, yeah, because most of you come to our um, you and our Christmas uh, holiday event that we're doing toy drive. Uh, that we were doing um, also to help uh, uh, civil things. This is the name of the shelter uh, run by MCC Metropolitan Church Community of Center. Um, so it's very different because here you see the need of the young people, LGBT, um, that all of us have our children and they're comfortable at home and they don't want to go to school. But yeah, you come here, all these homeless young people have to, they go to school every day. They're in school, some in high school, college. But the sad part between the, the kids that are living home, you don't have to prostitute your body. They have to hustle at night so they can survive, have a couple of dollars so they can eat. That's why we're here today because I committed myself every year to feed them. So I want to thank Joe's place. Um, oh my God, I'm like very emotional because every year he never fails to amaze me that even we can raise the enough, we don't raise the enough money, he goes beyond and he gives us a, a, a double um, a plate. And you see they're not small plates, they're big plates. There are thousands of homeless people from gay, lesbian, and straight, and straight people who turn away from their families. And we've seen it, and I've seen this in the news and everything else, and we've seen a lot of people who turn turned away from their families when they were doing gender a long time ago. This is a different kind of thing that's going to happen compared to what they're having to eat, when they're having dinner or staying over at the house like a family like this. We, 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 yeah, we're losing. We, 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 we lose sight. We lost sight of community, helping each other and being there for everybody. And, and it breaks my heart because we lost sight of what our mother, you know, what our mother did. You know, nobody's perfect. You know, especially when you when you were raised in a poor community. I don't say we're poor because when you have a roof over your head, there's other kids. I call poor that you see kids in other country eating. They're eating brown. They're eating dirt. You know, and that's poor. We're not poor. We got salad, we got chicken, a, a pollo al horno. We're not poor. I think we're medium size, you know, medium size class people. Because poor is really, we're not poor. But they, in New York, they call us poor, meaning we live on a fixed income, disability. Uh, you know, you're disabled, like me, I'm a Latina, disabled. Yeah. And you know, all this against me, I'm a lesbian, a lot of things are against me in, in many ways. And then you have to fight all that to, you know, I guess because of the tribulations of my life, it helps me to have compassion. It helps me to, I let my kids when they were little, because the guy that's videotaping, he's one of them, so he's a proof, living proof of my work, that when you're trying to give a little hope and say, listen, I identify you, I've been there, and you know, look, I'm okay. It's just being okay. It's not having a lot of money. If you have it, good for you, but learn to give back. Learn to give back. And pay it forward. And that's what our show segment is about, giving back to the holidays. Pay it forward. Pay it forward. Now, you've done all of the stuff besides this one, the pay you the holiday one. We're doing yeah. a toy drive coming soon to raise toys for the kids in my community and for the shelter. We bring Mrs. Claus, so we, we, we try to get fundraising yeah. to cover Mrs. Claus. We got, they never had this in the shelter. We've been doing that for five years now, and the joy. You know, money doesn't pay, but when you give people hope and joy, and you see all these kids, I mean, their their face. I got it, you know, all the pictures on Facebook, and you see the transformation. It's like money cannot buy that. And when you're giving hope to the hopeless, then you know, call me troublemaker. You know, all the politicians, they love to gossip, and you know, I you know, I don't disrespect anybody. I don't, you know, I don't dislike anybody. But when you're calling me a troublemaker because I'm doing something for his right, speaking up for those that don't have a voice, then I'm proud to be a troublemaker. So get ready, because I'm going to keep knocking at your door until you do the job that you're supposed to do. Exactly. Because I'm an advocate, and I'm a disabled, and I'm there doing the job that you're supposed to do, that you got more power, then, you know, that should make you think, your conscience, that you could do more than what I'm doing. 
Now, now the holidays is here, and we are coming up to the big ones coming up. Uh, do you have any kind of special wishes to everybody in both languages, your English and Spanish? You can say Spanish first. If you want. What I can say is this: if you call yourself a child of God, and you said you got God is love in your heart. You're not supposed to be God or be the judge and be the faith of God. Remember, when you do the faith of God, you know what love is? Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envying. Love is not hate. So if you got those spirit, those those fruits, is not fruit of God because those are fruit of the devil, which you hate people, you dislike them because of your religious belief. Well, let me give you some news. Jesus went among the people that you don't like. He went to the gays. And let me tell you, the gay community existed before, when Adam and Eve existed, believe it or not. Go to theology school, because the professor told me that. He told all of us, get ready, because I'm about to give you a news. The gay community always existed, is that we never was accepted. So you need to learn to accept people and love them for who they are. Because in all straight community, there's an LGBT living among you. And you should love one another, because when... You know, this is Pastor, a friend of mine, she used to say, I'm now going to say my Latina. El que no tiene dinga, tiene mandinga. And I used to tell her, yo no tengo ni dinga, mandinga, yo tengo trigidinga. Meaning, I am the less to judge anybody. Because I may not have one problem, but I might have the other, but you know, I got all of them. Because, you know, yeah, I got an attitude. I know what I got. And that's why I go to God every day to forgive me. Because sometimes people take you out of your skin of the nonsense and stupidity. And knowing that we have more Christ in our community. Y lo que yo quiero decirle a mi gente latina es eh, que prenda a amar los unos a los otros. Jesús dejó dos mandamientos. Amar a Dios sobre todas las cosas. Segundo, amar tu prójimo como a ti mismo. So, si tú no amas a tu prójimo, tú no te estás amando a ti, porque Dios te ama a ti. So, you know, ese es mi mensaje y por favor, únese la comunidad latina porque aquí está un, un, un los millonarios, y la me decirte, no son millonarios blancos, son millonarios morenos, son millonarios latinos, que nos quieren tirar a nosotros, que no tenemos dinero a votarnos de nuestros raíces, de nuestra comunidad y de nuestra casa. Y a ellos le vamos a decir, con nosotros tú no vas a poder. Y vamos a luchar para defender de lo nuestro. So, esta, esta acción de gracia es darle a gracia a Dios de todo lo que Él nos ha dado, porque nosotros vivimos una, una vida muy agradecida. Y tenemos que ser agradecidos con un niño con un joven, con un adulto, y se ha agradecido que cuando Dios nos da personas como este caballero, dando la oportunidad para expresarnos, y tú sabes qué, amase uno de nosotros, y esta acción de gracia aprende a regalar un arroz o alguien que de verdad lo necesite. Dios me lo bendiga. And I would say the bottom line is, thank you for what you've done, thank you for what you did for throughout the years, and if you have a website, what is the website you want to join? It's www.nyclgbtcc, um, lgbtqs, cc.com and I want to thank now that I got Ron here thank you Ron from the bottom of my heart behind you know bottom of all the volunteers they hear and, and, and the homeless I thank you so letting you know let our voice be heard so we could do better more and all the sponsors Joe's Place uh, Sibao Me uh, you know Marta de Sol Inca Cola man and all those people beautiful that donated out of their heart the rice the turkey I thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you and all I can say is Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Rebel Yo te bendiga Feliz de gracia. And, I, and thank you for everything. Absolutely. And the best of luck to you. All the success in the world. We continue with more, with more people like you. Because when we work together, there are some more episodes. We can share a lot of joy for the people in the New York area, from gay, lesbians, and everything else. Amen. Amen. Very, very, very what area do you want? What area do you want? What area do you want? Yeah, let me know something.
Check it out on all social media. We'll be right back with more road trips on the other side of this break. All right, son, let's get ready for school. But first, you got to make your bed. Remember what I taught you. Take the fitted sheet, pull it tight around the mattress, no slack. Next, take the flat sheet, pull it up six inches from the top of the bed. Then pull your comfort over the flat sheet. Make sure the pillows are parallel to the end of the bed, yet angled at a 120-degree angle for aesthetics. Mom really likes that. Got it? Close enough. Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes, but two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier and it could save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. Make sure your child is brushing for two minutes twice a day. Visit 2men2x.org for helpful resources and tools. The New York Yankees have teamed up with the New York Blood Center to save lives in our area. There's nothing better than watching the home team knock one out of the park. Now we're hoping that you do the same. Join the team and hit a home run for our community by donating blood. One pint of blood can save up to three lives. And mean the difference between life and death for a neighbor. Call the number below or visit the website to schedule your time to give the gift of life. The New York Yankees, the New York Blood Center, and the whole community thanks you. If you're anything like my family, then you love to play basketball. It's an amazing sport. There's running. There's jumping. There's even dancing. Most importantly, playing basketball for just one hour a day is a great way to get fit. So get on out there, shoot some hoops, and most of all, have some fun. Growing up in a tough neighborhood is something I know a little about. It's not easy and you've got to rise up and stand out. Right now, fewer than one in ten low-income students can expect to earn a bachelor's degree. With eyes like that, a better life seems pretty hard to come by. America needs a stronger education system, and the time is now for bold reform. We owe the next generation a brighter future. Motivate. Educate. Elevate. Get school. Hey guys, this is my teenage friend Fred. Rad! <laughs> hey pal, you want to pay attention to the road? Relax man, I got it. Look, my man, if your bad driving gets me killed, you better hope you die too, or I will haunt you silly. And I'm not just going to float over your bed like, Woo! I'm going to be making a more annoying noise, like, ah! And instead of wearing those long white robes, I think I'll wear something more form-fitting and upsetting. The other ghosts will look and be like, wow, we've never seen that before. Wayne Boyer did it once, and he thought he would be able to do it again. 
He threw a fastball by Piazza on the previous pitch, and no doubt, fueled with a little confidence from that, tried it again. That time the ball is up and a little more towards the outside part of the plate, and to some extent, vintage Piazza, as opposed to the pitch before, as he hit it deep the other way for a home run. They want Piazza to come out here. So congratulations to Mike Piazza, now the Hall of Famer, and we are so happy. Everybody in New York are proud, everybody in Met Station are proud. This was a happy moment for any Met fan who liked my deal. And he is great because one of my guys, I met him a couple times when I met him. He was absolutely fantastic. Well, anyway, we're just going to wrap this up. Okay, next week on the New York Angels, I'm going to be covering this next week. We'll be sure to watch this one. And we're going to can't wait to see the Prince of Damien. We'll be in Jamaica. We'll cover this one. July 29th and the 30th. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll see you there over there for our special edition of that. And I want to say thanks you all for joining us. Don't forget, game come on for one more at 8.30 on Muslim Public Decker 2. And we'll come up right after the break in Jennifer Day on Brooklyn Club and Denver. Thanks for watching for Prince of and everybody who involved today's show. I'm Juan Wallen from the New York International Bowl Show here in the Davis Center. Good night, bye bye, and bye bye. Road Trip is a Ron Rondon video production. This is Don Wilson saying good night.